Calcutta reigned as the capital of the British Empire in India during the 18th and 19th centuries. Within 200 years, Calcutta, a sleepy hamlet along the Gangetic course, was transformed into a bustling metropolis, surpassing the grandeur of Victorian cities such as Manchester, Leeds or Birmingham. The Lousy Square was the main epicenter of power and trade during the British colonial rule in India. It was the pivot for operations of the financial, political and social world of the Indian Empire until the capital was shifted to Delhi in 1911. The square, which is in the heart of the city, is about two square kilometers in total area and named in the honor of James Marcus of Dalhousie, Governor General of India from 1847 to 1856. After independence, the square was renamed Binoy Badal Dinesh or BDD Bagh after three freedom fighters who stormed the bastion of British rule and spelled havoc. The square includes a large central water body, or Lal Digi, and is one of India's few remaining colonial centers, retaining buildings which illustrate the significant stages in the evolution of the city of Calcutta from 1965 to independence in 1947. Among these is the writer's buildings, designed by Thomas Leon. It was constructed in 1766 for the residence of the writers of junior civil servants of the East India Company from where this building derives its name. It acquired the status of the seat of the British government after the Bengal Secretariat moved into the building in 1880 and serves as much the same purpose as the administrative office of the West Bengal Secretariat today. The Lousy Square is where British dreams were given their most extravagant expression. British architects filled the city with neoclassical buildings, riverside promenades, manicured parks, office buildings and apartments all constructed along the lines of European models, many of the public buildings being outright copies. The Government House is a duplicate of Kedleston Hall, the stately home in Derbyshire of Lord Curzon. The palace-like structure is crowned by a majestic dome and is the only building in Calcutta where no addition or alterations have been made to the building. It was built between 1799 and 1803 by the then Governor General Marcus of Wellesley. This former residence of the Governor General of India is now the official residence of the Governor of West Bengal. Similarly, the Gothic-style Calcutta High Court, the oldest high court in the country, is modelled after the State House in Belgium. It was built in 1872, but the marshy foundations did not allow the towers to be as tall as the original. The architect Walter B. Granville also designed the General Post Office in 1864. This building imposing for its raised dome is located on the site of the old fort of Calcutta. While the British mastered wealth and power, one area they had no control over was battling the diseases here in this uh, subcontinent. Many of them succumbed early to life to malaria, diarrhea and so on. In fact, in addition to the general post office, this building was constructed to house those letters which were written and meant for the living but arrived well after they died. Today, the India Post uses the same building to sort out undelivered letters in the city. The square has suffered decades of neglect with many historic buildings demolished over the years. It is plagued by an urban issue of parking for vehicles and space for vendors and food courts which occupy pavements. Different bodies such as the local chapter of the Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage and Action Research in Conservation of Heritage have been working towards revitalizing the Dalhousie Square. Their efforts have met with response from the World Monuments Fund who have listed it amongst the 100 globally endangered sites in 2005. So whether it's the Maharaja of Darbanga, the Dead Man's Post Office or the Raj Bhavan behind me, the trail you take around the Lousy Square is intrinsically linked with the history of the country. And if you want the significant heritage zone of the nation to be included in the list of the seven wonders of India, give your vote for the Lousy Square.